You were in your haste to subscribe to WBAI before. Yeah. You seem to drop your wallet. Oh, I dropped my wallet all kinds of money. Yeah, I know. I know. Five dollars, six hundred. Pretty prosperous folk singer, boy. <laughs> well, what's the point in uh, being a folk singer if you have to work for a living? <laughs> you said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, it's bad enough as I'm going to be a folk singer in the first place, you know. Sounds like a good name for a song. Like, what's the point of being a folk singer? you got to work for a living. Yeah. <laughs> it's something Dylan would probably write. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, that's Bob Dylan, for those of you out there who are not too sure whom I'm referring to. And if you still don't know, forget it. <laughs> because you haven't been listening to this program. Oh, uh, do, you, do you play Bob Dylan? Oh, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I must have played Hard Rain. Uh, it shows on five nights a week, or was on five nights a week. <laughs> All you insomniacs, uh, you don't know what you're going to be doing now. Well, you know, all of you people out there, you know, who've been doing Radio Unnameable for uh, low these many months, there are, you know, other possibilities. There are other things to do at night than listen to the radio. Uh -huh. There are, really. You could try to sleep. What did I call him? What did yeah. no, I call the song? The song War, War, War and, and Peace. Peace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I'll, I'll tell you something. Uh, and uh, now you know, uh, I have to. I, I suppose this is kind of nice for me to be able to say this in public like this. But uh, while I consider uh, Bob this is Barry Kornfeld, everybody. Yeah. B a r r y. Yes. K o k o r a b l d. No i. R F L D and yeah. um, all the people that were on the on the scene in the. I just wanted to make sure that you weren't putting down. Uh, oh well, you know, uh, 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 let me let me say this. Uh, <laughs> I thought that was a gr great, funny invitation that you did before. <laughs> Impression. Bobby, uh, I consider one of the geniuses that has arrived on the scene. I mean, he's so far and away. Uh, Beyond uh, his, his colleagues, that it's you know it's it's almost unfortunate for the rest of us. And well, what do you do when that, when mm -hmm. somebody like him comes along? So he doesn't really sing folk music, you know. Because I've spoken to him, he says I'm not a folk singer. I'm not a folk yeah, singer. well, neither are we. Well, the rest of us. I I really by my conception and definition, I wouldn't count any of us as folk singers. So it doesn't bother me. My my own one criteria is. Uh, you know, if something is good, it's good, and if it's not, it's not. Huh. You know, it's as simple as that. I, I really, you know, after a while, you, you get tired of... Uh, well, all right, would find. you sing the September song? No, I wouldn't, because well, I couldn't do it well. But it's a good song, I mean... Oh, yes, uh, it is a good song. So you need another definition, don't you? I've heard, uh, what's his name, the blues singer uh, Lonnie Johnson do it. <laughs> it's pretty yeah. funny. Yeah. No, uh, there, there is a great... Uh, to me, folk music is pretty much defined by uh, its style. Now, while I don't define what uh, my contemporaries and I do as uh, folk music, I certainly define it as something that's derived from folk music, and that certainly is true of Dylan's stuff. Right, right. right, right. Well, but uh, he, plays, he plays a guitar, and he writes his own... Yeah, but the, the flavor, the, uh, the style of the lyrics... Uh, is uh, is very folksy. The the phraseology that he uses a great to a great extent. This particular song, War and Peace, is uh, <laughs> is uh, is actually somewhat out of it that. But uh, musically, you know, it's very much in that bag. And actually, sort of the the kind of imagery that's used is uh, sort of folksy, sort of uh, symbolistic. I well, now I've had uh, two interpret. I've been mm -hmm. playing that song on the average of four times a week. Mm. 
since the program well no not since the program began because it it's on a record that hasn't been released yet bobby brought the acetate up uh -huh. uh, from the session and then there was some sort of a hassle with the company and so the record has been held up, but it's coming out uh, in June sometime. The cover is out. Yeah, the cover is out <laughs> and, hang, and hanging up in music stores all over the city. It's funny to think people... Beautiful cover. Yeah, yeah, it's a beautiful cover. But anyway, what, what I started to say before, I'd like to sort of complete it. I don't uh, dig the songs that Bobby is doing in this vein. Uh, I was uh, at his concert at Town Hall, and I was impressed by the fact that just about every single song he did that was in a different vein was really uh, a gasser. Uh, what do you mean? I mean that uh, all of his uh, other songs that are not, well, this sound, you know, uh, unfortunately my guitar is over there, but uh, uh, this, the, there are several songs that he's written, as a matter of fact, he must have done about 11 of them at the concert, that sound pretty much the same way. They have the same kind of I thought he did, it, every, did everything he did tune. at that concert was his own, wasn't it? They were all his own songs. Right. I'm talking about being stylistically similar. <clears throat> uh -huh. This and uh, gee, I can't even think of the titles of them, Masters of War and so on. And they frankly, uh, after about the third one, began to fall like lead on my ears. On the other hand, songs like uh, he did one called oh, like, Strontium Spanish, 90 your, uh, hmm? like Strontium 90 on your, like Strontium 90 on your genitals. Right, right. Something. Right. Well, <laughs> you know, if it sterilizes, so much the better. But uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, Boots of Spanish Leather, which is a lyric song, is written. It's just a beautiful, beautiful song, song, isn't it? And uh, uh, if I had to do it all over again, I'd do it all over you. You know, it was great, <laughs> and he did a great Highway 51, and so yeah. on. But these songs, I, I just don't really dig. This, of course, is a is a very you know personal reaction to it. But uh, I find them uh, just just too similar in many ways, you know, crying out against the same problems that we all cry out against. No particular solution, mind you, and uh, kind of preachy without any, you know, any basis in in much of anything. Uh, as I say, I'm uh, I'm glad to be able to say this kind of in public, so that uh, hey, well, it's don't, not don't a don't all of the songs anything. about boy you are my baby and boy mm -hmm. you make me feel good. And, oh, baby, what I'm going to do with you. Aren't they all sort of the same? You know? Well, uh, which all? I mean, they... I mean, I like every love song has the same sort of... Uh, it depends text, on... It depends... No, uh, that's, that's not thing, true at all. You know, I mean, you know... And every song is, about, boy, is, isn't it great to have spring? And, oh, boy, have I got the blues? 